choose to build your relationship if you want to enjoy it. But when you break your relationship, you regret. Don't break. It's easy to break, but hard to build. And how do you build? Do you want to build a great relationship? You need to know the secret. Today I'll be telling you how you can build your relationship. Instead of destroying it, how can you be able to build it? And what will help you to build a great relationship? This is Shabiha, the author of the book. You have a bright future. Do not give up. Secret for the singles. And men are crying. Women are weeping. Today I'll be talking about how to build your relationship. You need to believe and believe to build and choose to build. Building is a choice. You need to choose. Say, I choose. I purpose. I'm committed to building a relationship. And relationship, building it requires courage, commitment, and collaboration. In other words, you need to collaborate with your partner for you to build a better relationship. You need to be courageous because you'll be discouraged. You are trying to build, but someone is pushing you. Uh, you'll come across challenges in the relationship. But remember, you need to be committed. Say, I have purpose to build a great and a good relationship. And so you need collaboration. Work together. You're a winning team. With your partner, you are a winning team. And as a winning team, you need to remain focused. And remember, if you're focused, you are going to do great things. Choose to build. When you build, you'll be happy. When you build, you inspire people. When you build, you also sleep well, work well, and serve well. You are there in a relationship to build. You are not there to destroy it. And you need to be careful. It's easy to destroy. By your word, you can destroy. By your action, you can destroy. By your attitude, you can destroy. Don't destroy your precious relationship. Whether it's a relationship, it's a dating relationship, whether it's marriage, you need to learn to build it. And how do you build a great and a peaceful relationship? You need to know this. And I'll say, you're there. One that will help you to build a great relationship is humility. Do you love your relationship? Learn to be humble. When you are humble, you'll be able to build. A humble person is ready to ask for advice. Remember, there are many things that you don't know. And there are many things that you know. But learn to ask for advice. Learn if you want to live. Read if you want to lead. It's key. Read a lot about relationship, about marriage. Most of the time we feel like I don't have time to read. Ask for advice. There are people who know it. Ask. Be willing to learn. Be willing to consult. A humble person will ask for advice. A humble person will admit the mistake. You need to be able to recognize and admit when you are wrong. There are people who believe they don't make mistakes. And that people have been destroying their relationship because they don't want to admit their mistake. Yes, admit it. Recognize Remember, you are not perfect. Marriage is for imperfect people. People who are not perfect that come together to build a great marriage. And how do you, you need to be able to admit your weakness. Recognize your weaknesses. Yes, I'm, I have shortcoming, but I want to succeed. So admit your mistake. Someone who is humble will be able to ask for advice, admit their mistake, and agree to change. You need to be able to say, yes, I'll change this way. When your partner, your friend is telling you this, I don't like this attitude. Learn. Agree to change. Make an effort to change. When you are able to change, you'll be able to do great. A humble person appreciates other people. Proud people will not appreciate other people. So, how proud people will not ask for advice, will not admit their mistake, and they will not agree to change, will not appreciate. They will look down on other people. If you want to build a great relationship, learn to be humble. Humility is a key. You want to be great? Humble yourself. But if you are proud, you can be sure that you will destroy your relationship. When you destroy it, you regret. 
you'll not be at peace. The second thing that will help you to build a great relationship is honesty. Be open. Be honest. And you'll be at peace. Be honest. You'll be able to. And how do an honest person... An honest person is open and on up to their mystic and disobedience and opposed to evil and is original, it's not fake. You need to be honest. Do what you say you'll do. Remember your promises. Most of the time we give promises, but are you able to keep your promises? If you really want, you love your relationship, learn to be honest. You want to build, be honest. The third thing that will help you to build your relationship is harmony. Harmony is that where there are people, things will emerge. You'll disagree. But how you, you, you solve your disagreement matters a lot. You need to learn to sit down and talk. And I told you that humble person will listen. Humble person will admit their mistake. Humble person will ask for forgiveness. Admit your mistake. Harmony is key. If you want to live together, you need to live together in harmony. You need to treasure that relationship and value the other person. Harmony is key. A person who loves harmony will seek for solution. Look for a solution. Don't Allow things and people to separate you. Sit together because you are a winning team. You'll be able to find a solution. Seek value peace. When you are at peace and uh, when you are at peace and uh, the relation is peaceful, you'll be able to prosper. When you are not at peace, you'll also be at pain. When you are at peace, you'll be able to progress. When you are at peace, you'll be able to be uh, produce. So make sure harmony is the key. Sit together, talk, and find a solution. Let me tell you that you can find a solution to what is stressing you. And one thing, you need to come down. Be humble to be able to get a solution. The first thing that will help you to build if you don't want to break your relationship, learn to honor, respect relate well and recognize the other person. You need to learn to respect. Respect this other person. Everyone look, is looking for love. Respect this great person. When you respect this great person, you'll be able to relate well with them and you'll be able to recognize their effort. And everyone is looking for love in a relationship. Learn to lift, not to look down on the other person. Learn to encourage the other person. It's honor the other person. Respect is key. Relate well. Recognize the other person. When you honor the other person is key. The fifth thing that will help you to build a great relationship and build your relationship and save your relationship is hospitality. Love to serve. Be a servant leader. That's something that was told. And if you want to be great, and the word of Jesus, one who wants to be great need to be a servant. Be ready to serve. Hospitality. A hospital person, a hospitable person, I mean, is able to serve. To see the other person as great, very important. How do you look at your partner? Do you look at them, they matter? Or you look, you think they don't matter? No. A relationship is not for one person. A relationship is for two people. So you need to see that the other person matters a lot and speak well and show the way. And it's very key. You need to serve and serve without complaint and value the other person. That's where you'll be able to build a happy relationship. Number five, if you want to build a happy relationship, one, you need also happiness. You need to be happy. When you're happy, you'll be able to share a happiness. 
And one, how to be happy, you need to be contented with who you are and what you have. You may not have the best, but from what you have, you can get the best. So you need to be contented. Thank God. Most of the time, you need to be able to list the quality of your partner. What do they have? The quality. And to be, be thankful. They are not perfect, but try to thank them for who they are, for what they have. Also, the other thing that will help you, uh, when you're happy, you be cheerful, you be charming, you be connected, and you be, you'll stop complaining when you are happy. And that's where you'll be able to build a great relationship. You are there to build, you are not there to destroy. And check your words, check your behavior. And the seventh thing that will help you to build a great relationship is being helpful. Be helpful. How can you be helpful? Cooperate. Be caring. Control your tongue with your words. Build with your, be helpful in your word. So those are seven things that can help you to build a great relationship. Number one is humility. If you don't have humility, you'll destroy, you'll break, you'll regret. Number two, honesty. Be open, be trustworthy. Someone that someone can rely and trust. And remember this great person has opened for you the heart and you need to protect that heart. Harmony, look, seek peace, live in peace. When you have peace, you sleep well, be able to serve well. And number four, honor the other person. Relate, respect, and recognize the other person. And also number five, you need to be hospitable. A serving, loving, caring person you'll be able to build. Number seven, you need to be uh, hopeful, cooperate, uh, helpful, I mean, you need to learn to cooperate, caring, be committed, control what you do. And a bonus one, you, be, you need in a relationship, you need hope. Hope means you need to focus. You need to learn to forgive. Uh, you need to see great things and be friendly in a relationship. You are there to build. You are not there to destroy. And remember, when you destroy, you regret. And I don't want you to regret you can build a great relationship. Humility is a key. Humble, you'll learn, you'll get. Humble person be able to ask for advice. And remember, plan fail because of lack of advice. Look for advice. You're struggling in one area in your relationship. Look for advice and be willing to get those advice. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, share, say something. And make sure you... Click the notification bell so that you get the new great message we post. Thank you so much. God bless you.